Good evening, in this video we'll be looking at the safe house. This is free for the month of September 2023. Uh, normally goes for around $70 and has a folder size of 3.5 gigabytes. Going into the overview level, we can see the meshes. Good detail even up close. We can see the walls are kind of thick. So should be near or good enough for lumen. Uh, these are one piece parts, so the like the door is just one part. It's not separated into different parts. And details are really good. You can judge for yourself as long as the compression doesn't mess it up. There are lots of variety of meshes. Uh, the inside of the car is not modeled. And they, the meshes are generally where uh, things you'd find in a safe house survival um, theme, I would say. Now it's worth noting that there are no skeletal meshes. They're all static meshes, including the weapons. And most of the meshes have really good detail. This is the machine gun. It's like half of it have been submerged into the floor. Raising them up a bit. There are good details on it. Or more precisely on the weapons. Now you may think that this is not clean. But actually that's an orientation thing because of the material. Uh, it adds dust to the top part or the part that's facing the positive Z direction in the world so you can see the sides are clean now going to the lightning only view mode looking at the collisions along with it there are okay details the collision uh, is just generic not nothing special uh, the meshes do have some details on them this is the wireframe. And looking at the folder structure, we got blueprints, maps, material instances, materials, meshes, uh, the showreel textures. Showreel, I'm going to go into it in a bit. The textures, uh, we got like 99 4K texture, excluding the SDRI, 119 2K, 29 1K, 2, 5, 12. And these are alpha channels. Um, some of the uh, the ones that have alpha channel either for translucency or uh, for masked or for emissive. And we have ambient occlusion reference metallic in the you know, typical ORM setup. There are normal maps, base colors, and some noise textures for blending or dust. Now looking at the blueprints, got this uh, cable set. Um, you can actually change the ends of it, so it's like you are dragging a wire to it. This pipe, um, foldable pipe, uh, is also supplying, but the chain is not a spline. You can add to it, also remove the end or the start holder. And the crane, you can extend it and you can rotate it as well. Too bad this is, these are just static meshes and not uh, rigged. We got the decal. You can uh, put them whatever material you want, and these are the settings. You can change them, like the color, roughness, opacity. You can offset the UVs and scale them. And the heater, it's, it's just like uh, some parameters to control the lights, I would say. I think this fluorescent light doesn't have the static mesh component assigned. And uh, yeah, so it's just uh, these lights are almost identical in setup. We got this uh, radio mic, or I would say old phone mic cable. And the vehicle, you can change the hood uh, rotation and also hide the components and rotate the wheels. 
for the meshes most of the meshes are uh, below five to ten thousand vertices but there are some that are kind of uh, more than thirty thousand uh, most of it have just one material there are some uh, with two or more UV channels just one um, mostly most mostly they do have LODs about four and the master materials there are like 17 of them some of them do have some um, parameters I will probably briefly show some of it near the end Yeah, I think uh, the wall has like the most parameters out of them all. As for demonstration level, there should be a zombie tied to a chair there, but there isn't. Uh, you can see the guns in here and there. Only this pistol has separated functional parts, the others don't. The AK, I think, have one without magazines. And the TV have some noises. So the, the show reel that I talked about before, I'll remove the sound so I don't get tracked for copyright. Let's play it. Uh, one thing I forgot about the textures, most of it, most of them do have a displayed, uh, displayed resolution less than the imported one or the one provided. That's like the author saying that that is enough. Uh, but if you want more, the higher resolution is included, which is very nice. Basically, we can make the maximum resolution zero to make it to the highest possible resolution. So this is like the showcase. Pretty nice, in my opinion. So yeah, I think this is enough. It goes further. Let's, let's look at the material instances for example for this barrel okay that's the dust we can change the color of it uh, many other settings related to the dust uh, also changing the hue the lightness whether it's li light or darker uh, and the saturation at zero it's full color at one is uh, whitish or loses all the color should be the same for this one as well and for the the one that's uh, inheriting from the cloth master material you can change the subsurface color and changing the wind settings these control the speed mostly or uh, or things related to the speed also the world position offset and there is also a setting about the vertex color. I think it kind of makes it uh, opaque, uh, either opaque or masked, depending on, on the value. As for the floor, there are uh, color options. I'm just going to change it to obvious color so when I uh, adjust it with the vertex color paint to be more apparent. And for the wall, now the wall does have many many uh, settings and colors. Not going to change it, just showcasing all the different parts that you can adjust or change to your liking. Like I said, the wall had the, like the most parameter settings from the master material, which is reflected here in its instance. Yeah, we can make it clean version or peeled off uh, like plastic only the concrete being uh, shown 
Also for this um, window material, we can decrease the maximum opacity to make it l less opaque and more translucent. And looking at the UVs for the ones that have one material, we can see, actually we cannot see that much. It's kind of shifted here. Uh, you may think that this is wasted space, but it is not. It's basically multiple meshes sharing the same texture. You can see there's only minimal wasted space. The packing is very good. And the same parts are being reused on the same texture space, UV space. Same for AK on minimal wasted space, but the, the symmetrical parts are using the same texture, texture space. Same goes for this chair. You can see the legs are using the same one and for this one as well along with the interior face. To recap, overall this is a very nice pack and if you get it as free for the month, that's even better. There are lots of meshes, around 480 something and uh, the higher the texture dimension that's provided that's a very that's something i really like about how the some authors do that they leave the choice to you uh, there is good material uh, customization uh, alpha channel on the orm texture is only used when needed uh, it does have lod's around four for most and more for those with higher uh, vert vertices count the UVs are very well packed with minimal wasted space. Some of the parts, of the ones that have the same parts uh, or symmetrical, are being shared on the same UV space. Uh, the walls have uh, some thickness to them, so it shouldn't be that much problem using them with lumen. Although on the exterior there are some like box brushes being used, uh, probably to yeah to prevent light from leaking in. So keep that in mind when you're trying to use it with lumen. On the downside, uh, there are some that is some textures are being shared by more than one mesh. This, like inherently, is not a bad thing, but it has its uh, trade-offs. So it should be used when you know the drawbacks. Now there was like the there's a person or a zombie tied to a chair that was included in the picture but I couldn't find it here. Not all of the meshes were added in the overview level because there are like four, 400 something meshes and around 300 something on the overview level. So that concludes this review. Hope you liked it and also have a good day.